So First Tech Challenge is a competition designed for high school students that high schools all around the country do. And they compete on a state level, then on a multi-state level, another regional level, and then a national level. And we keep adding levels in between there because it's getting so popular and they have to cut it down so the national biggest level doesn't get overwhelmed. It's been taking off pretty quickly these past years and mostly because of its low cost. So we start out with Lego components, Tetrix components, and other components that you could just buy off the shelves. Anything at Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that. So you build your robot, you program it, and you actually have to program every single line of code. It doesn't do anything for you. So you have to tell it what to do, when to do it, how to do it, all on its own. You tell it to go, and then it has to go do its thing on the course. You can score this year by collecting balls, putting them into goals that are like four feet off the ground, rolling up hills, rolling down hills, and teamwork is a huge, huge thing. So you get paired up with another team randomly. You have to adapt your strategies to their strategies, your strong suits to their strong suits, your weak suits to their weak suits, and you have to form the strongest team possible for that round. You compete on the field for two minutes, 30 seconds autonomous, one minute and 30 seconds driver controlled, and you just amass as many points as possible, and then in the end you get to pick an alliance. And the alliance is like one of those random pairings, except maintained for multiple rounds, and that's how you determine the winner. After, you get all sorts of different awards. We recently won a design award for a creative robot design. There's a documentation award for best documentation, teamwork award for best teamwork, and I think there's just a points overall award for whoever gets the highest score.